and with the new edition of Xiaomi's Mi Max. It's the Mi Max 2. And like the previous version, it also is quite a large smartphone with a big 6.44 inch screen. However, there are a few differences. For example, the battery has now been upgraded to 5,300 milliamp hours. So you should get more battery life around two days of normal usage. Also, it's compatible with Quick Charge 3.0, meaning that in about an hour of charging it, you can get 70% battery. Now, in terms of the internal specifications, this, like the previous edition, has four gigabytes of RAM, and the processor now is a Snapdragon 625, as opposed to the previous version's 650. Now, even though it's a 625, that might sound confusing, making you think it's older, but no, 625 is newer than the 650. That said, this isn't exactly a powerhouse with some uh, super fast specifications, but we'll be able to see how fast it really runs with the Antutu benchmark tests. Looking at the design of the phone, it has a metal body with rounded edges. The 12 megapixel camera is up here, and there's a front camera here. We'll go more into the cameras later on. There's a speaker up here and also some speakers down at the bottom giving you stereo sound. This here is the USB type C port. And on this side, we have the SIM card slot. It can take micro SIM card, nano SIM card, and also an SD card. This is the 64 gigabyte version. You also get a 128 gigabyte version, both of which are upgradable with those SD cards. In terms of the accessories that came with this phone, the ones that I got were just quite minimal, basic things like the USB Type-C cable, the charging plug, the manual of course. Okay, so let's have a look at the display on this phone. Obviously, as I've already said, quite large, 6.44 inches for the screen, and very clear, very bright, and you've got a nice range of colors there as well. And here we are with the Antutu benchmark scores, 60,000. Um, yeah, it's pretty much as I expected for a phone with this sort of internal spec. A solid score, nothing too amazing, but um, you get a reasonably quick phone, especially at this price. Okay, so to talk more about the cameras, the front camera here is very similar to the previous edition with five megapixels. The rear camera is 12 megapixels, which is actually less than the 16 megapixels with the first Xiaomi Mi Max. However, you should be getting better quality pictures. It has a larger pixel size with 1.25 microns as opposed to just one micron with the previous version. And this should mean that you're getting more light intake, which hopefully will lead to better pictures. And here we have some photos I just took of some flowers outside and some buildings. As you can see, the picture quality is quite clear. You get some nice looking photos with this camera. And here's a video I took of some similar things, the flowers moving away up to the buildings there. So with this camera, with this Sony IMX386 camera, you can get some pretty good quality on both the photos and the video too.